hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today I've got <laughs> another haul <laughs> for you and it's from Dior and it's going to be the new Dior bronzer so I couldn't resist because every year I always buy the new bronzers that come out so I wanted to try out the new bronzer from Dior the packaging looks stunning um, it just looks like a really nice a bronzer and it is a natural bronzer as well so without further ado let's get into it um, if you're new to my channel welcome I discuss all things high-end um, I love high-end beauty uh, what else yeah please like and subscribe if this interests you and um, like anyway even if you don't subscribe because this will help my algorithm so let's crack on so Oh, and by the way, <laughs> I said it was a no-buy year. Let's put that to one side because it hasn't worked out, has it? So, yeah. Anyway, this is the um, package. This is like a new packaging for Dior. They're, they're sort of following in the same footsteps as um, Chanel, whereas they've sort of got rid of the box and they're bringing out this little, little type of bag now. Is it? Right, so anyway, I guess with small orders, which this is, I can totally understand that. However, with larger orders, I would like to think they were still using the gift box, you know. So, little samples again. Again, it's just, um, what did I get? Yeah, got a little, the new perfume, J'adore Intermissy. I can't ever pronounce it, but just a little vial of that and i got oh yeah a little healthy glow foundation which i've used that before i used to love the forever the original forever and then um, they discontinued that and brought out two versions of the new versions of forever and um, one was a glow one which is nice i like the glow and one's more of a matte which i'm not particularly fond of the original off was more of a matte color well, it was a matte with a sheen and it offered just to me a bit of a nicer coverage however it's not, the new one isn't by any means substandard it's just it's just changed really i guess technology changes and each year every brand brings out this a new version of their foundations so yes oh a big Oh, great I'm just looking I will have to wear a mask in work and I'm just getting so many breakouts it's really annoying anyway I'm digressing so what I picked up and I'm going to get show you some comparisons as well is the new forever natural bronze from Dior I am um, that's the back just in case you like to read the information it is, I'm going to put my glasses on, a um, healthy sun-kissed sun skin bronzer with long wear, perfection and comfort. It claims that it's got 90, I think it's 97% min, from, it comes from mineral salt and mineral powders. So it's, it's more of a natural bronze with a natural finish. It has, um, so straight off the bat, I'll just show you there's no a uh, plush cover to speak of however that is the beautiful packaging I do really like this packaging actually I've got this packaging also in the powder the cushion powder so I'll just show you the comparison with that so it's a lovely plush slightly cushioned um, top with the CD logo and that is the back and I picked number five so number five is, in fairness, it's leaning towards the deeper, warmer tones. However, I do really like uh, warmed tone rather than cool tone bronzers. So if, what you may notice, did I have, the, yeah, I had that right way up. What you may notice is a little hole here. So that suggests to me that this is going to be refillable, unless it's a mistake because there's been no mention so far from Dior that it's refillable however it looks like you can push that out and why would you change the that lovely cover all the time so 
I will just show you the other one to show you. It's 10 grams of product, by the way. So this is my uh, cushion. Sorry, it's a cushion forever, a cushion powder. So just to so you can see the difference in the sizes. Okay. And I'll put some of that on just to show you. So what I've got on today, I, I'm trying this for the very first time. I will show you it in a sec. Um, I've done all my makeup, my face powders, um, and my lip, my lip. I just haven't done my cheeks yet. So I thought I'd do it with you. So without, let's have a look at, let's just show you. So you get a little uh, plastic cover and that is the bronzer itself if you can see that it is a matte it comes across as being very matte i looked at it um, when i got it yesterday i haven't swatched it yet or anything i'm going to swatch it with comparisons and you get obviously the mirror as well really nice size mirror so yeah it's a really nice size mirror like i say it's it's gone quite dark now so but that is the um, the actual, so it's like a warm, it's very warm, slightly deep bronzer. And now I am just, so you know, I'll wear N2 in Dior foundation or neutral 2 or in B20 in Chanel. Um, in MAC it's NC20. So I'm fairly pale, not porcelain, but I'm fairly pale in skin tone. So however, this this would probably come across as being quite deep the um number four which i'm still considering picking up as a bit cooler toned number six was too dark but by, by a long by a long shot so i'm gonna get my trusty um <coughs> mark jake excuse me mark jacobs uh the bronze brush and i'm just gonna like i say it looks quite matte well, I'll do a swatch in a minute, but, and that's it on the brush, if you can see. And let's go in. So, I've done a very light to start off with. I've just kept it very light. Sorry, I'm looking at my mirror as I'm doing this. Usually I hold the mirror up and then I end up obscuring the camera so you can't see what I'm doing. So, actually not as dark as what I was expecting. Let me just pick the mirror up. It's got a nice, lovely warm tone. Just put a bit on my forehead as well. I have quite a high forehead or forehead. <laughs> it depends how you pronounce it. Yeah, it's a really nice warm tone, but not nearly as dark as what. So if you can see there, can you see the difference? It's very minimal, isn't it? Let me have a, another. Right, I've got quite a bit on the brush now. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. So suddenly it's appeared. So I'm going to put some on this side. No. I can never put any blush or bronze on without doing that with my with my uh just do under this uh oh you'd be pleased to know that well maybe not because you're not from the if you're not from the uk we're actually coming out of lockdown the first phase of lockdown on monday so the shops are open and the gyms are back open so I intend to go swimming and get some of this horrendous weight off that I've managed to put on over the couple of year, year no year now, it's been a year. 
so yeah this is quite a it's quite a warm bronzer but however I don't think it's nearly as dark as what I was expecting it I think I picked the right shade I was expecting it to be too dark you know for my skin and there you go it's not so number five is a good if you like a warm bronze rather than you know a, a cool tone bronze which you might want to sculpt with more I would say if, if you're in my skin if you're in my skin tone you'd pick number four for that however I'm quite happy I'm quite happy with that because it's given a little it gives a soft sheen actually and it does give a natural finish which it says it does so it is ticking the boxes yeah I'm quite impressed it's not um yeah it's exactly the shade I would wear in fact it's one of the nicer ones I'd wear to be honest I'm so impressed I've bought this <laughs> and what I would say though is if you're using a bronzer I don't know whether a light packaging is a good idea but it's uh yeah I'm impressed so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to finish my face off while I'm so I'm using I'm going to use this pontom uh, it was from the Chanel spring collection this year so I've hardly wore it you know because we've been in lockdown and I've had to wear masks so I'm not going to use a really lovely blush and highlighter like this uh, without w when I've got to wear a mask so I'm going to use the blush side I'm going to do the highlighter too I don't want to overdo it because I still want you to see the bronze as well. However, I do um, really like this bronzer. And I picked the right shade, thankfully. I, I ordered it online. I, I should have waited till Monday, really, for the stores to open. But I don't know whether it would just be in my local boots anyway because they're only just coming out, like I say, only just coming out of lockdown on Monday. So it might not be in. And I wanted to pick it up. So, oh yeah, I love that. Love that colour. Yeah, it's just warmed my face up, that bronzer and the blush. Because that's got a lovely peachy feel to the blush. Like I say, the bronzer's got like a... It is matte, but it has a soft... Sh a soft sort of satin sheen to it so it's not flat matte which is great because I don't really I don't go for that kind of total matte look I think as you mature and it just ages you that's my opinion anyway so let's just finish off with a bit of highlight and I'm going to put also yeah I'm going to put also some of the cushion powder on the cushion powder now that I've got I didn't get the new matte ones that are out I got the I got the this one is the holiday one that had a bit of um, glitter in and golden nights you can see there and like I say love the packaging you get a little sponge with it I won't use the sponge what I'll do and it looks like that and then you take the little thing um, fold up fold the back the little piece of paper and you've got your powder I will just pop some of that on with I need to just get I'll use this brush actually And it has a hint of gold in it, sparkle. Whether that's going to show up today, I don't know. Let's have a look. What I'll do is I'll pop the light on here. It just gives a soft sheen of uh, gold, actually. It's not too sparkly. There is a little hint of it, but not too much. 
so anyway I'm sort of going off piece a bit again so, what I want to do now is show you some comparisons with um, the bronzers so you can get a feel for let me just pull my sleeve up you can get a feel for um, I mean it's okay showing you here on the video but just get a feel for what it's actually the color is like so I'm just gonna swatch it there and that's the swatch and it doesn't kick up too much powder actually as well which is great it's got a lovely soft feel to that you know like a really soft powder with a bit of uh, moisture in it so I don't know whether I've done this right actually maybe I should do it this way I will I'll do it this way because you'll be able to see it better it's hard to do it the other way and uh, keep there we go so that is the first swatch which is the number five bronze from Dior so let's pop that away next up I wanted to show you the darkest one I have in my collection and that is the Charlotte Tilbury number five number three tan now when Charlotte Tilbury brought these out last year look at that beautiful packaging so again a refillable um, with the hole in the top how you'll ever refill this I'll never know though look at the size of that a huge big mirror and you can see how dark that is so what I'll do now when this is slightly too dark for me to be honest let's just do that there yeah can you see I know these are heavy swatches obviously you wouldn't put them on your skin like this it's a little bit more powdery as well the Charlotte Tilbury I notice when you blend it out it tends to go to sort of a nothing nothingness so and it's quite a warm bronze you can see it's slightly more towards the golden edge the Dior one like an amber and this one's more red it's got more red in it the tan now she also brought out number two which was really fair really light um, and she needed I always said she needed one in between two and three so maybe I've picked the right one there because that is going to be I haven't got number two because it was just too light to buy but however that one looks like it would be a good a good between the two and three like a 2.5 would be, that would be it so there's the Charlotte Tilbury it's very warm next up I want to show you the Galan Terracotta Four Seasons this is well loved I absolutely love this and I've got this one in zero one blondes because the the um, Guerland do probably the best bronzers ever and they have a beautiful warm tone that one as you can see hit and pan well loved I've used this endlessly and it just never run it's never run out it just keeps going and going so I wonder how much is in here so with the like I say Charlotte Tilbury I think it's about 15 grams 16 grams 10 gram for the Dior it is only 10 gram and yet it's just endless use so let me swatch that one so there we go and it's just lovely soft moist powder that sorry moist is not the word we all want to hear but and if as you can see it's not dissimilar to the Charlotte Tilbury however this one it just blends out really well and you can it because it's four seasons you can use um, two of the lighter shades or two of the darker you don't need to swirl it all together so that is my terracotta four seasons there and again that's quite a warm sort of virgin on the being a red bronzer next up I've got um, the one that Chanel released last year in the um, it was a nautical theme uh, Le Beige Sunset and again 10 grams of product it's got the lovely uh, nautical double C on it there this is one of my favorites by the way so it's got that lovely rope design and this this one isn't matte by the way I was about to say the these three so far could be considered to be matte 
this one isn't it does have slight golden shimmers in it so let me get another that one and I'll just swatch that as well because it's a little bit harder to swatch let me do it there however as you can see it's a beautiful sort of golden shimmery shade I absolutely love this it's really natural on the skin it's not too deep and it gives this beautiful just lovely golden hue as well it's one of my favorites actually that Chanel one I hope they bring out something similar again um, I don't I think what they're doing this year is they're bringing out their Le Beige Cream Bronzer. Um, do you know how last year it was quite light? When they reformulated it, it was quite pale. They're bringing out another shade this year, which is darker, I think. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. But however, that is the Chanel Sunset. Last of all is my Chanel Duo A Bronze Lumiere. So this one was come out of three, three, maybe three, four years ago. And it's a duo bronze highlighter. It was um, really lovely. It's one of the dark, another darker shade I've got in, um, and it's got a lovely soft sheen on it. As you can see, the patterns wore off because I wore it a few times. So let me do that one, and I'll do it here. So if you look how dark, it's quite brown and almost cool tone that one. It has, again, a slightly golden, it's not so shimmery as this one because it's got the, uh, I'll put that next to it, it's got the gold highlighter so you could blend them two together to get a nice, in fact I might try that, see what it comes out like, yeah, so there you go, you get that, sadly again they don't do this anymore Chanel so but um, like I say, the Charlotte Tilbury and I think the Sunkissed you can still get a hold of. So there you go. So you've got your Dior there. Hopefully you can see that. You've got your Charlotte Tilbury in tan there. You've got the Guerlain Four Seasons bronzer there in 01 Blondes. You've got the gorgeous Chanel Sunkiss there, which is one of my favourites. And then you've got the Chanel um, Bronze Lumiere Duo there. And, and that's the highlighting part and then they're mixed together. So, as you can see, it's, um, it, it is a different shade. It's slightly cooler and more matte. Um, uh, yeah, I'm glad I bought it because it is very different to, the, to all of these. So I hope that helps. And in you picking a shade if you're thinking of buying the Dior bronzer but I actually I do really like it I think um let me just yeah I do really like it I think it warms the skin up gives a really natural natural finish I'll probably go in and I mean let me just blend that off a bit I think that looks a little bit dark yeah I do actually really love it really gorgeous so that retails for it was oh, 40 pounds yeah it was 40 pound i think yes that's right um and it's on um, the website at the moment um but i've got a feeling it'll be in stores very if it's not next week it'll if it's not already it'll be probably the back end of next week so um, that's it for now. I'll just show. I'll just show you that because I feel like this has gone on a bit long. I have other things to show, but I'll do that in the next video. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.